Okay, we are back, guys. You didn't miss much. We, you missed them walking in on class 40. So here we are on class 40. Class 40. So this is the first class of the junior division. First class of the junior division. Okay, so that was class number 40, and I'm going to ask the lovely Alyssa or Brandolyn. Who was it that just won that class? Dakota Smith, okay. And Dakota was leading for wrong class. Our results in class 40. First place, What bowl is that? Second place, Okay. And then in second we had? Who was second? Thank you, Mr. Michael. Okay. Thank you. Was that Ra Rebel Ranch? Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. So in that last class, which was class number 40, uh, that was our, going to be our junior yearling bulls, January 1. Um, that was our class winner was Mr. C.B. Sam, 24. That's Mr. S.N.S. Wesley's son out of A.S.L. Miss Liz. And in second, we had the Moreno Mr. Risky. Um, that's going to be a rock star son out of Lady Rumbera. So in this class right here, oh, wow, we're zooming along. This is class number 41, and we go into... Championship drive, next guys. Championship drive will be next. This is the last class in the intermediate. And then we move along to the junior championship drive. And then we'll be going into our senior bowls. Perfect. Can we make it a little bigger? just font-wise. Okay. 
Perfect. Thank you. So glad I have Team Brahmin Journal here with me. I have just an amazing team. Uh, team Brahmin Journal is doing a great job. So we have Iran doing um, all things results oriented. Iran and Karen from Mexico. And uh, we have a little cooler weather. So we have a few bowls that are feeling kind of good. And so in this class, we only have two. So we have first and second. Uh, first and second, one will be first, one will be second. And we're looking at Mr. Casseray Tony, five over 91. That is the bull with the um, shorter show person on the stick. And then we have with the Walters livestock on the stick for KF, Mr. 96. He's the bull that's feeling a little good today. And uh, that is going to be a Casanova son out of that KF, Miss Magnum Sting. There we go. So. We uh, have two bulls in here. We have a Troubadour Sun. That Troubadour Sun's at the top with the uh, Shorter Showman. And then, of course, we have Walter's Livestock on the stick. I'd like to use a young man who uh, in this class. Here's one that uh, kind of brings a big routine that I like a lot. Uh, one that's got some length of side, he's uh, got some muscle, he carries it down low, stands on a good set of feet and legs. Uh, we'll see why he's uh, stacked up in the division class, uh, but a really nice calf. The young man's uh, book is, comes in second. Here's a calf that uh, he really likes a lot of things about. He's got a lot of rib shape, a lot of body on him. He's sound structured. Uh, I'm trying to change him a little bit. I'd like to have him lay down. He's talking to run down the other so slightly and maybe clean him up to his sheet and make him more ideal. But a really nice calf. Congratulations, young man. Okay, we're going to be coming back in for the junior drive. We're going to be coming back in for junior championship drive. Junior champion drive is getting ready to come back in. In the junior championship drive, we will be seeing... Uh, Christopher Brown's entry, that's going to be the Mr. CB Sam 24. CB Sam 24 will be coming in. So coming in from that first class, first and second, we're going to be the uh, Mr. CB Sam 24. That's going to be led by Dakota Smith on the stick for Christopher Brown. And then um, in uh, second place, we had the Rebel Ranch entry. Um, that's going to be the Moreno Mr. Risky, uh, Moreno Rockstar son. Um, the son, um, the very first class, that um, winner was Mr. SNS Wesley's son. And then in that second class, as we know, we had uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Got myself backwards there. Um, I'm sorry. Well, On the first side. Sure it's good. Uh, uh, the bull that wins the first class in this division. Here's one that uh, is really eye appealing. One that's got some length of side to him. Rolling down his top line. He's really a level out of his top. Square. He gets around the ring. Instead of being legs. A really nice cat. Uh, the athletic bull is over the middle. Here's the one that's uh, really dark red color, one that's got some substance of bone to him, one that's got some depth of rib, some muscle shape. Get him out here in the line. I think he might like to swear out of his pins a little bit and make him more ideal for me. Uh, the one that's going to win is going to be the young man who wins the first class. He's going to be the division champion. Okay, so division champion is going to be the bull of... Uh Dakota Smith had on the stick, and again, I misspoke. That so we're the second place bull in the class. Here's one that's uh, got a lot of length of size to him. He may get up a little depth of rib, depth of body to him. I've come in in class, I'd like to uh, lay his shoulders back a little bit to make him more ideal for me. I'm going to go look at him one more time, and I'll pick your reserves. So in for um, reserve consideration, we have the K-Bar Farms bull that is being led um, by the green shirt of Walter's Livestock. And then um, for reserve consideration also, we have the Moreno entry 
so I misspoke earlier. Um, that's going to be the Moreno entry. Um, that was second in that very first class. First in the second class uh, was the Walters Livestock, and it looks like we're going to go with the Walters Livestock, which of course is the K Bar Farms entry. K Bar Farms, that's going to be the KF Mr. 96. That's going to be a Casanova son out of KS Miss Magnum Sting. So, congratulations. And we are done with our junior championship. We will be back shortly with our uh, senior bulls, senior bulls coming up soon. And if you are in the um, arena, if you're here today, you can go stop by the BR Cotrer, BR Cotrer booth for a cattle catalog for their online production sale, Good Cattle, Good Vibes. August 10th, they have their online auction with DV Auction and they have uh, the catalog here at the Blue Bonnet Kickoff Classic. We're here in the Brazos Valley Expo Center. We'll be here all the way through Saturday. So stop by and see Brandon and, uh, Brandon and Rachel, and they will be able to give you a catalog for their upcoming sale. And talk about upcoming sales, we also need to talk about Bullseye Ranch and Satterfield Ranch. Genetics by popular demand. They are actually going to have a live and online sale this year, October 16. That sale will uh, be online on Cattle in Motion, but it'll be live at the Texas A&M Beef Center. So make sure you make plans to attend. We're going to have the catalog up for them online soon. And so you can also reach out to Charlotte uh, Smith for a catalog. We have two bulls. Nope, we have more than two bulls coming in the ring. Okay, this is class 45, class 45. Looks like we have three entries, three entries. These are aged summer bulls in class 45, May 1 through August 31. It looks like we have three bulls in the arena. Oh, we got another one coming in. We got bull number four coming in.
thanks guys for watching. Just getting caught up on all of this. Thank you, Emily Otto, for telling people where we're at. And we agree, we think the cattle look great. I think we saw Trisha Collins is watching and quite a few other people. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the show. Let's see if we can get backed up just a little bit here. Trying to get some camera angles that you guys might enjoy. Looks like the judge might have gotten us down to these two or three. Let's see. down to the top two. This is class 45, Trisha Collins, glad to see you watching. Thought you might be here, not sure where you're watching from, maybe back in the barn. So this is class number 45. It's the first class of the seniors. It looks like in front of us we have the Dietering Red Brahmin, DB Southern Style 1 over 679. And then we also have the Herzog, Mr. H.C. Axel. That uh, DB Southern Style bull is a Pistolero son out of the DB Southern Style 1 over 198. And on the uh, Herzog cattle, that lead. Um, we have Herzog cattle on the lead in that bull that is to the right underneath the part that says class 45 and that is a Maximus Sun out of Miss SIL 131. Brad Gaunce is the judge with us. Hey Jeff, glad to see you watching. Let us know where you guys are watching from. We're here in Bryan, Texas. This is the Brazos Valley Expo Center. Hope you guys can hear me okay. And uh, we are here at the Brazos Valley Expo Center with our judge, Brad Gauntz. This is our first class of senior bulls. Senior bulls. Watching from uh, Mexico, thank you, Filberto and Vanessa Hudgens. Is watching, Vanessa, just so you know, we, and Huntsville, Texas is watching with us. Hey, Sarah. Uh, just so you know, Vanessa, we're in the first class of the senior Red Bulls. We are going to finish up the Red Bull show, and then we'll move right into the Gray Bull show. Um, I think that there's maybe a little weather moving in, and so they wanted to move along. So uh, after this, we will go into the Grand Champ well, the Senior Championship Drive. Uh, you are at home in Chilton, Texas, Miss Tricia. Well, we miss seeing you here, um, but glad you can watch with us. So we'll have the senior championship um, in a couple more classes, then we'll be doing the grand championship and crowning the grand champion of the Red Bulls. The Brahmin Journal team is here. We are taking photos on the backdrop. All of our photos are free. We are uploading photos as we go in the show. And uh, all of our photos are free courtesy of ST Genetics. So thank you to them for that. This was a very successful thing we did at the All-American. Um, okay. Thank you very powerful bulls in this class. As you can combine them both, you have an outstanding individual. I'd like to use the uh, red bull here who was with the class. I thought he carried the most natural muscle change. Uh, he's got a 
Class number 45. 45. And our uh, first place in class number 45 was the Herzog Bull, which is going to be a Maximus Sun. And coming in second, very hard fought class, that was DB Southern Style 1 over 679 Dart. That's going to be a Pistolero Sun out of DB Southern Style 1 over 198. Congratulations, guys. Getting ready to come in with class 46 shortly. I want to say thank you to all the people that have sponsored us. Don't forget, we're going to have some great sales on bestcattlesales.com. In October, we have the Keep the Quality Up Butler Farms and Clem Ranch sale. Hey, John Good, glad to see you watching. Uh, and 79 cattle, 79 cattle, you guys are going to have a sale with us too. It is going to be your first sale. Let's see if I can find... There we go, 79 cattle production sale. That's going to be September 26 and 27. So glad you're watching from 79 cattle. And we have Brad Gauntz as the judge with us. So 79 cattle, thanks for watching. People can ask you about what you're going to have in your sale. So maybe in the comments, you guys can get a conversation started. And of course, our good friend, John Good, he was in Tampico with us at the National Mexico Show. and. John, I bet you're going to have something in this sale, October 9th through 10, that Brahmin, Bayou Brahmin's Elite Sale. John has had some tremendous genetics showing lately and doing really well. So congratulations for what you've done. We're getting ready to walk back in the arena, guys. Back in the arena, we're coming in with class number 46. So let's get you back on camera. This is class 46, class 46. It's going to be looking for four head of cattle, and that is going to be January 1 through April 30. We're going to have a Moreno entry, a Dietering Red Brahmin with their DB Southern Style 1 over 652, Mauricio Rodriguez uh, with his VL Rojo Apache, the uh, Razorback Farm with their smoking, oops, sorry guys, let me get you guys back where you can see something, with their uh, CT Smoking Max 11 over 9, and Rebel Ranch with their Moreno, Mr. Ripley Ray. You guys are welcome to have conversations in our comments. Again, this is our second class of senior bulls. We are glad to see you guys watching. Like I was saying, John Good, uh, he's been doing really good with his good genetics. And he was there in Tampico with us in June at the international show for Mexico, at the Mexico National Brahmin Show. They had two different Mexico Nationals. They had the one in uh, Tampico, and then they had the one in uh, Palenque. We took down a group of breeders with us to Palenque. Uh, we were in Mexico in Palenque, and then uh, Charlotte Smith of Bullseye Ranch and myself moved along to the Expica Nicaragua, had a great time. The cattle looked really good there. Hey, Ricky, glad to see you watching, and Matt Madden. Love to see you watching, always. We live streamed the All-American, not this year, but last year, and Matt was the uh, showmanship judge and did a great job. So thank you to Matt Madden for watching. Matt has been uh, a tremendous influence in the junior program over the years and, of course, also has bred just some tremendous cattle, um, a lot of these really great red genetics that have won over the years uh, have that 
his stamp where he has um, impacted the breed. So are we looking for, so Sarah was looking for something. Let's see what Sarah, uh, with the show times. Yeah, exactly, Miss Emily answered it. But we could, um, do we have the program posted yet, Mr. Iran? No? Uh huh. The like where they can get it and see what the program is? The catalog, the, the um, with all the classes. Not yet? Okay, we are going to work on that. Thank you, Sarah, for asking. We can at least, hey, Neil Hudgens, glad to see you watching. We're at least going to try to get up the, um, okay, we have a winner in this class. I believe this is <laughs> Big Boy, if I'm correct. Really powerful boy to win this class. Uh, one that stands on a good set of feet and legs, one that's rugged and can design, one that's got some length of the body down, one's got a lot of dimension at the center point of the body. I think it's changing a little bit, maybe changing up any sheep and making the wild deer, but it's getting pretty picky. I just don't really want to call the individual. Oh, uh, the other man, the bull coming in next, there's one that's got some length of side to him, one that's out on the move, one that's got some of my steps at the bone. He just seems to be softer, maybe a little more power and a little more condition to set up more of his body behind the glass. A little moderate bull coming in next, he's got some rib shape and volume, he's got some lean muscle to him. If I could change him a little bit, he gets a little round for me, I'm trying to close the pants out to me. Southern style one over 652. That's going to be a Mr. BF Iron Man son out of the DB Southern style one over 249. And in second, we have the Rodriguez cattle. That's going to be the VL Rojo Apache 89 over 9. He's going to be a son of VL Rojo Apache one over 50 and out of VL Elena 28 over 4. We're getting ready to move into class number 47. Class 47, we have two, no, I'm sorry, we have three entries. Three entries in class 47 and then we will be moving into the senior championship drive. So senior champion drive after this class. And Michael Joyce is walking in the pen. He has been watching us online, I believe, back in the barn. Trying to keep track of what's going on. Make sure he doesn't miss anything important. Ray Salinas, glad to see you watching with us. Ray, just so you know, we are on the final class of the Senior Red Bulls. We agree, these are beautiful cattle, beautiful cattle. Manuel Amperon, Manuel Amperon's watching. Manuel, I believe, will be going down to Mexico to the Tuxla Gutierrez show, I believe, there in December. Manuel, we had a really good time in Palenque. Missed seeing you there, though. And let's watch these big bulls walk. We have, I believe, three in the arena. Michael Joyce is on the stick for the KW Mr. Riker Rojo. That's going to be a Maximus son, um, the smaller show person. 
is with the Mr. Principi Apache. And then coming in um, in that last place, walking that third bowl. Again, it's not last place, but just in the third hole. That is Santa Elena's Biel Rojo Mocho. Um, and so I'm going to guess that's a pulled bowl right there. Anyway, so we are here. And we ended up getting really close to the fence, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to show you this camera angle. Let's try this one. And let's try this camera angle. Nope, that one won't work. Maybe this one will. Okay, it's down to two. It looks like we're gonna have the Michael Joyce entry. He's in the orange colored shirt. And then in the vest, we have the Santa Elena entry. This is our last class, guys, of Red Bulls. Last class of Red Bulls. championship drive with the Red Bulls and then on to the grand champion Neil Hudgens you're a little early the Reds are coming up and thanks Savannah for watching too so um, our first place winner is going to be the KW Mr. Riker Rojo that's going to be a Maximus son out of G4 Miss Perry uh, and in second we were going to have the Santa Elena entry which is the BL Rojo Mocho so um, also in the comments we have the show program posted so you guys can click on a link and see the show program if you want to. That was class 47. We're going to uh, talk about Maximus just a little. That was a Maximus son that just won. We're getting ready to move in for the um, drive, I believe, here. This is going to be the senior championship drive. I'm sorry, this is a senior, yep, senior championship drive here. Senior champion drive. So this is senior champion drive. Senior champion drive, guys. We're going to have three bowls to look at. So in that first hole, in the youngest class, our winner was the uh, Herzog Lead Bull, the Herzog Lead Bull, and that was going to be the uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. flip my program back around. So the um, two bulls at the very top, the farthest one away from us, was the one that won the class. That's going to be the Maximus Sun. That's going to be a Mr. H. C. Axel. Um, the bull of that we have, the lovely Jennifer Parker on the stick, that's going to be the DB Southern Style 1 over 679. Um, that's going to be a Pilaro Sun. In those second set, this second class right here, 
far side. We're going to see Colin Parker uh, with DB Southern Style. I've got a senior ball right here. The young man who wins the first class. Uh, one of the very competitive class in my mind. They a combination ball. Here's one that's uh, sound on the move, sound in his skeleton. One of the senior ball shape and body. I uh, love the muscle he carries down that long border and into his fist. I can change the order so slightly. I'm not going to pick his ten bones up and swear him out uh, just to make him more ideal for me. Uh, the young man that wins the second class, uh, he's a bull that I mean, is really great in his design. And the man, uh, uh, he stands on a good set of feet and legs. He's got a lot of ton of dimension in his center point of his body. He carries a muscle down more than perfect size. If you can change him ever so slightly, you can be shaped up to make him more ideal. Uh, the young division. Here's a bull that uh, you really love the length of side he has. He's, a, he's probably the longest body bull in the class. With that being said, we like to see him a little softer, maybe have a little bit more internal dimension. And for me, I'd like to swing him up from hooks to pins ever so slightly. But I'm going to go look at him one more time, and I'll pick you a champion. Again, we're here in the senior championship drive. The bulls farthest away from us were the class winners. The bulls closest to us were the um, second in class. Our judge Brad Gauntz is taking another look. Looks like he's gone up to the youngest class. So it looks like the Maximus son is going to be the um, senior this champion. Is the place bull steps into the lineup. Uh, uh, the quality should not disappear. Uh, there's a lot of bull uh, uh, coming in the class. Uh, uh, there's a lot of good to this bull. He's one that's got a lot of dimension to him, a lot of rib shape, a lot of volume. Uh, if you can change him ever so slightly, you might like to lay his shoulder blades back where he wouldn't labor as much when he gets around the ring. I'm going to go look at him one more time, and I'll pick your reserve. And now he's coming in for reserve senior champion. We have two Dietering Bulls left in the lineup. And then we have Michael Joyce on the stick. Let's see which direction. It looks like he's going. And yes, he went up to the bull. Uh, so he was, whoops, sorry guys, a little bit of a fast ride there. So we used, he used uh, the youngest class for champion and reserve champion for the seniors. So congratulations to our champion and reserve champion senior bulls. Again, that was the Maximus Sun out of the first class and of course the Dart Bull, that's DB Southern Style 1 over 679, um, that was going to be our reserve senior champion. Right, Thanks guys. After, like in the grays. Oh, okay. okay, guys, we are in the grand champion drive. I'm going to try to read through these real quick here. We have. Do we have everything in here, including the seniors? Yep. Okay. In the calf champion, that youngest, uh, the youngest. Oops. Let's see. Got it here. There we go. That youngest bull is going to be the uh, calf champion. That's going to be the Reagan Sumrose entry. That's right here in the screen. That's going to be the uh, Mr. RP. That is DF Mr. Butterbean son out of VL Elena, 5 over 38. In our second division, the second division on the far side, that's going to be Pasquale. Pasquale is going to have that um, intermediate champion, which is going to be the SRS Josie. 
uh, whales, and that's going to be a troubadour sun out of the uh, SRS Miss Cibola. On the far side, far side, light blue shirt, that's going to be Dakota. Dakota is going to have that junior champion. That's going to be the Mr. CB Sam. And then on the uh, end, uh, we're going to have those senior champions that we just talked about. That's going to be the Maximus Sun and, of course, the Dietering Bull. Let's see if we can get you guys maybe a different angle. I'm looking for that camera angle that I can play with a little bit here. Let's see. These are our grand bulls. These are all our champions from, oops, let's go the other way. There we go. Brad Gaunts, our judge, is walking through the cattle. Looking at um, his very nice cattle that he has chosen. Let us know where you guys are watching from and what you think about the cattle. He's going to have them walk one more time. Going to have these uh, first places walk one more time. Okay, so there's that calf champion walking on the far side. our uh, intermediate champion with Pasquale on the stick right there. Swanner Brahmins. Then we have Dakota walking that junior champion for Christopher Brown. Then we have the Herzog Bull. That's a Maximus. So again, congratulations to all these breeders. Really great job. We'll be taking backdrop photos. I believe they're going to be moving right into the gray, but if people want to take backdrop photos, we could pull somebody from the arena to be taking backdrop photos, no problem. Or we can wait till the end of the show. If you want your backdrop photo, take them with the judge. And again, thank you to um, ST Genetics.
screen up all of these views that are so slightly moving in the shot or bone to make it more ideal. I'm going to go look at them one more time and then I'll pick you a champion. Brad Gaunts, our judge, is looking over his champions. Some great red Brahmin genetics here. And it looks like our grand champion is going to be the Herzog Bowl. Moving in for reserve. Yes, there's there's senior 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 He went to the Swanner Bowl. The Swanner Bowl is going to be reserve grand champion out of that intermediate division. Congratulations, everyone. We had some great cattle showing. Congratulations to all the champions.